The question of returning these looted goods has always really been at the heart of what I do as a filmmaker. It's right at the start of the process that I began in Senegal. I've been working on films like these for about 10 years now. But restitution of works of art in the tangible sense handed back by France, a former colonial power in Africa, I have to say it took me a very long time to really become fully aware it took me a long time to really grasp what it really signifies and all the violence that it entails as well. That's one of the reasons why I am a filmmaker. I want to make things as tangible as possible, to make it possible for people to understand these issues and to feel them, to have an emotional sense of them as well, a tangible sense, to realize what the colonial period and all its ramifications meant, which is not necessarily a straightforward process. And when I heard that Emmanuel Macron had announced that he intended to return the cultural goods that had been stolen from Africa, I found it very striking. It was the very first time that I realized that nothing was where it actually ought to be. It's much too easy for France to simply say, oh, we'll send 26 artifacts to Benin, and that's that. And nobody's fooled by that. We're not fooled by it, and you are not fooled by it either. Everyone is playing their, their roles. Everyone has their own agenda. Everyone has their own staging as well. So, of course, 26 works isn't enough. We need to say that. Many of people had no idea whatsoever. They didn't know that there were works that had been pillaged. When it was announced that they were returning, a debate was kicked off. People said, oh, really? Nobody told us about that. Even people who had been to school, because the educational system that we have doesn't teach us about our own history. Although it gives us a little bit of our history, but it teaches it in a, from a Western point of view. That system wiped out everything that made us proud and made us great. We're told that our ancestors were really frivolous people. We're taught that they were dealers and so on. And nowadays, we have to start talking really about who we were and who our ancestors were. And you saw that in the discussion in the university as well. You'll see that a lot of people were saying, well, if there's 7,000 works abroad now, we're being given 26 back. Now we have to fight to have the other works returned as well. And we need to underscore how exceptional these works are. They're quite out of the ordinary. They're really outstanding pieces. And we said, well, our ancestors were real geniuses. They were fantastic. The artwork is really high quality. And if you have these 26 who are amazing, just imagine 7,000. So it's a real challenge for us now to have all the 7,000 come back to we need to ensure that it's possible for us to preserve them so that future generations will be able to see them. These works, in a sense, represent the soul of the people of Benin. It reconnects us with our history, but it also invites us to call that history into question. They come from a specific community. But at a particular point in time, they were taken, but now they have returned. And after that point in time, they don't belong to one small community, they belong to the entire community of Benin. And whether they're placed in a display case or somewhere else, they'll be closed in, in a sense. We can't say they'll stay there forever. They take on a different dimension, they assume 
a metaphysical dimension which sparks a series of questions. There's the issue of spirituality and our soul, what's happening with the very depths of that soul. From that perspective, we can ask the right questions. Young people need to take up the gauntlet, go out looking for their history in its entirety and all its facets. How is it possible to reintegrate this legacy, this heritage, into the heart of our contemporary cultures? What kind of link can we reinvent between these works and the younger generation? Questions put very straightforwardly in the film. The idea of museums is a Western concept. We shouldn't call them into question just because they are Western, but we also need to reconceive this through the prism of the African paradigm, through the films that I choose to make, and through the voices that are heard in those films. I think it really is a vital process of reappropriation and of breaking free of that grip on our mindsets. And I'm very pleased that through Dahomey, you can feel this tipping point. It's an irreversible tipping point. That's for certain. Thank you. Thank you.